So now that we've gone through each of these um, numbers and each of these sizes that are controlled by the standards, I'd like to show you how they all work with each other. Uh, one thing I hear from a lot of people is there's no tolerances on the NMRA specifications. You know, if you look on the track gauge, there's a, a range of sizes, there's a minimum and a maximum, and that's fine, there's a tolerance there. But the other numbers, there isn't. There's the span, the check gauge, and your flange way, and there's no tolerance, it's just a number. What they have on these, and this is uh, what makes the, the standards all quite brilliant, um, are minimum sizes and maximum sizes. And they do that for a very specific reason. By having min a minimum size on one number and a maximum on the other, it, it keeps sizes, uh, one size will keep the other size in check. Um, and I can demonstrate this pretty pretty clearly with this little uh, drawing I got. I have each of the controlled sizes dimensioned here. We have a check gauge uh, set to the NMRA minimum of 605 thou, the span set to the NMRA maximum of 564 thou, and the flange way. Uh, it's a, uh, a calculation between the check and the span. And that's how the flange way is calculated. And the flange way is only specified as a maximum of 50 thou. So all these numbers are in check, are, are uh, engaged. So I can actually change one of these numbers. I'll start with a check gauge. And I'm going to make this one, let's say, 610 thou. You can see that the flange is still under 50 thou. Span hasn't changed. The check gauge is now 610. So we can keep going a little higher yet. We can actually set that check gauge to 614 thou. So that gives us a, uh, a nice high check gauge of 614, and the flange is right at its maximum of 50 thou. We couldn't make that check gauge any higher than 614 thou. If we did, let's say I went to 618 thou, what happens is our, our flange way goes out of spec. So that 50 thou dimension on the uh, maximum dimension on the flange is keeping the check gauge in spec as long as we don't go higher than 614 thousandths of an inch. And the same applies to our span. The span in the NMRA specifications is a maximum size of 564 thou or less. doesn't say how much less, just or less. So if we wanted to make this 560 thou. I update the drawing. You see our flange now has gone out of spec. Our flange is 54 thou. So if we wanted to keep that span of 560 thou, we're going to have to compromise a bit on the check gauge. We're going to have to take that down to say 610 thou. By doing that, now our flange is keeping everything in, in check. Uh, our check gauge is 610 thou. Our span is 560 thou flange is 50 thou, and all those numbers are in in the NMRA specifications. So, you know, you have to wonder why is it why is it this way? Why aren't there just three numbers and we just all make them to that size and everything will work? And the reason being is uh, when, the, when these standards were developed years ago, um, the guys that developed them, they knew what they were doing. They, they give manufacturers the greatest amount of license possible um, when they're making their track. Uh, and, and equipment will still run on it because it's all in this spec. Um, you know, I, uh, the ideal sizes, that's, that's a matter of opinion. Um, my opinion is that you should try and keep, you know, two or three or four thousandths of an inch away from the minimum and maximum sizes. So let's see how that would play here. Um, let's set the check gauge to 608 thousandths of an inch, which gives us three thou away from the minimum size or the maximum size. Now our flange dropped down to 48. Our spans at 560, which is four thousandths away from the maximum size. So this is a good healthy compromise in my opinion. We're, we're away from the minimum and maximum sizes. Um, we kept the flange way to below 50 thou, uh, which is key to making the turnout run smooth. Um, and as you might have noticed that the number that's almost been that's been completely absent from all these calculations is the track gauge, and as I showed in the last uh, the last video, it really doesn't come into play in a turnout. So I, I can set the track gauge to uh, the NMRA minimum of 649 thou, and nothing really has changed in how this turnout's going to operate. I can change it to the maximum size. Same thing, nothing has changed just add a little bit more clearance there. But the critical numbers, 
the check gauge, the span, and the flange all stay static. So I'm going to put this back. And what you're looking at here is uh, the specifications that uh, that we use here, fast tracks for our assembly fixtures. And this is uh, this is why the turnouts built in the fixtures run so well because we've built them, um, you know, with a, a good compromise and uh, kept a few thousandths away from all the minimum and maximum sizes.